getting after it on a Monday morning, guys. There is nothing better. I'm back here at my old footy club, the Burley Bombers. Moving into Burley last week, that's where I think I last left you guys on the Tuesday vlog. So, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a couple of things in this video. The first one is going to be going and checking out one new place. I'm going to give you a bit of a house tour. And then uh, we're going to go back to the office and uh, look at a few eBay orders. I'll show you what's sold over the weekend. So, I'm going to go and have a shower and uh, I'll show you the new place. What do you think? Look, I really like it, guys. Uh, it's been a really nice week settling into this place. It's a, it's an awesome location, first of all. A um, few things missing in the house. There's no fridge, as you may have noticed. There's no dining table either. The housemate that previously left, he took all of the furniture, so we're slowly just recouping everything back uh, and buying new stuff. So, um, look, once that's all in, it will feel a little bit more settled. My bedroom's not too bad. It's a little bit small, but it fits all of my stuff, so I can't complain about that. And my housemates are awesome. Uh, one of them's a physio in his early in his early 30s, and uh, another one's I think in his late 20s as well. So uh, those guys are epic, and uh, I really do think this is a place that I can be in for a couple of years to come before I buy a place. And um, I really wanted to show you guys, give you a bit of a quick tour uh, of the place today, and uh, give you a feel for where I'm now set up moving forward. But um, let's head over to the office. Let's get back to mum and dad's because there's a stack of stuff that we need to do on this Monday morning. And the first thing, as you know, is doing the Monday post. So let's jump in the car, get back over there, and I'll show you what's sold. <clears throat> so guys no doubt about it it was a pretty big weekend a pretty big week really moving into the new place last tuesday and um you know a footy grand final afl that was on saturday the dogs and the d's and the d's getting up after a big long stretch without a flag that was really cool to sit back and watch had a few people over at my place we had a few beers watch the footy and that, and that was kind of cool too so um, i really did just want to switch off on saturday the fact that i've now ticked off the big milestone and moving out of home kind of wanted to just celebrate by taking a day off and watching the footy so that was a lot of fun uh, and then albeit a very hungover sunday morning i was back at it back at the flea market and uh and finding great items that i've already cut up a video for um which you, if you yet to see definitely go and check that one out because there are a few really great finds in there but um so i guess to counter all of that the fact that i did take saturday off i put a 10 percent off store-wide sale on my ebay store kind of to hopefully counter the fact that i wasn't actively listing on that day um, didn't have any scheduled listings or anything like that so i just whacked the store promotion on and um, we'll go into the house now and i'll show you a few of those that, that ended up selling throughout that period um, i'll take you through the numbers the numbers that sold over the weekend we had a total of 26 sales a total revenue of 932 dollars the fees of 140 bucks the postage of 195 cost of goods that sold 105 bucks so guys it was a 491 dollar weekend and um i was really content about that um it's, it's around about a 12 to 1400 dollar uh, take home that you get taxed on uh, from an earning sense right now and uh, the new place that i'm at in, in burley is 240 bucks a week in rent and i really don't think that's too much of a concern considering i'm earning what i'm earning plus youtube dollars on top of that you know 1200 dollars in ebay sales you know take home so financially all really good everything ticking along really well let's go and show you what actually did sell to get that 491 dollars in profit and we're going to kick things off with the dvds rightio guys let's get into it a lot of dvds were selling over the weekend that's why we're going to kick it off with that category 13 of the 26 sales were DVDs. There was one exception, that was Ghosts of Tunisia, a PlayStation 4 game. I picked this one up in the flea market oh, a couple of weeks back and ended up getting a $46 sale price over the weekend. So an awesome turnaround there. Would have paid about five bucks for it in the flea market and uh, to turn it into 46 was just fantastic. Uh, the box sets in the DVDs are always gonna be your top winners. This one sold for $40, Love My Way, the complete series. Um, so that one was great get in a, in a uh, trip to the thrift on Thursday, actually. I paid a dollar a disc or a little less than a dollar a disc. So that would have been about $8 into uh, $40. So about 10 bucks to ship that one off. Uh, Hornblower, this one sold for $31.50. Uh, that was in a sale that I ran over the weekend. 
Um, so 10% off store wide. That one came through at a 3150 sale. Not too bad. Happy to get rid of it. HR Puff and Stuff. This was just three episodes, volume one. Ended up getting a $22.50 sale price. Just a great turnaround for what is just a single disc used DVD. Um, so definitely a DVD for you guys to be looking out for there. And then the old school Tom Selleck Runaway DVD. This one sold for $18. Both of these actually, HR and Runaway, uh, were a Facebook Marketplace wholesale bundle where I picked these up. And uh, would have only paid 50 cents a piece. And um, they've ended up going on to sell for $40, the two of them. So the rest here that you can see up the top, they're all sort of between $10 to $15. I won't go through each and every one. Uh, but what you're seeing here is a total of 13 DVDs selling for $247 at an average sale price of 19 bucks, which I thought was pretty good. Let's dive into the clothing section and we'll see what sold over the weekend. So we had some really big wins in the clothing, guys. The first one was this vintage Mambo shirt. Now, I've ended up going on to sell this for $120. These things sell for some really good money. I probably could have pushed maybe $150 to $200 if I wanted to be patient. I'm not patient. I just like to move stock. Um, so this one was a really great get. I, I paid $4 in an op shop for this guy a week and a half ago in a trip to the thrift video. If you saw it, it's already moved in the space of 10 days. So I've made $100 profit on this Mambo shirt. Absolutely one to find when you're in the thrift. Definitely my favorite clothing item to find. The next one was a shirt that sold internationally. Um, so this was a really nice Disney Zara t-shirt and it was a size large, women's size large, Really nice print on it, as you can see there, the Disney theme on sort of a magazine type print. Uh, nothing on the back of this one, but I ended up getting a $25 sale plus $25 worth of international postage for this one. So a really nice piece. Uh, when you get your international post, um, that will cost me about $18 to the US. So an extra six bucks turns into a $31 sale price, and I only paid $4 in the op shop. So some serious profit there, guys. A nice little grab, um, a nice little sale over the weekend. Uh, okay, the next one, I'll actually do both of them. We had four t-shirts. The first one was this Led Zeppelin uh, t-shirt. This was a size small, which I don't typically like to pick up, but it was quite a large size small, if that makes sense. Um, the other one as well was this uh, New Zealand All Blacks um, grey rugby league polo shirt. Really nice polyester material, size extra large, more around the size that I like to buy. Uh, both of these shirts sold for $25. So um, would, have, would have paid no more than about five bucks. It's typically what I do when I buy my shirts. It's generally a $5 spend in the op shops. And uh, both of them have gone on to make me $25. So you can halve that, say about $12 each worth of a profit. I've made myself about a $25 profit on those two items. Um, there were two more pairs of shorts as well. So, or pants, I should say. So let's go and have a look at those. So you may have remembered in a trip to the thrift, I bought these Nike uh, track pants on Thursday. Really nice little print there. I actually haven't taken the stain out that I was noticing in the op shop right there, but I'm just going to send this one off anyway. Hopefully no negative feedback comes my way based on the cleanliness. Uh, this one's a size medium, but it was in excellent condition and the Nike brand always stands the test of time for myself. So uh, that one ended up selling for $30 on a best offer. I think I had it up for $35 accepted a $30 pro, uh, um, sale price on that one. This one as well was Cook Eye. This one's been here since the dawn of time, uh, sitting in my uh, inventory cupboard, but um, finally moved that one on for 20 bucks. Don't really know why I bought it, to be honest. A, a pretty ratty old pair of jeans. I, I shouldn't say that because somebody has bought it looking to wear it. But uh, it was a size 40 and... Um, Look, Cook Eye is a good brand. It's women's wear, and I don't know women's wear too well, but um, I, I do know that Cook Eye is a decent brand. It, it didn't sell for very much, though, but uh, two other pairs of pants, not too bad. The next category is the hats, and we've sold two hats over the weekend. Um, the first one that I wanted to have a chat about, though, was this Supreme hat. I found this Supreme hat in a garage sale not too long ago, and uh, I paid a dollar for it. It's ended up, so have a guess. What do you think that hat would sell for? It's a plain gray five panel hat. $89.95 was the sale price on this guy. Now you're probably thinking for Supreme, is it genuine? How do you know if it's genuine? Well, it's the tag. The tag will always give you the truth. And there it is there, a made in USA Supreme tag. That my friends is definitely a genuine hat. And um, $89.95 off a $1 purchase. That's making me about a $75 profit on that hat alone. The other one as well sold to Bowden from Falls Creek Flips. Definitely a YouTube channel for you guys to go and check out. I will leave his uh, YouTube channel in the description below. Um, he, he bought this one off me. So this was a 2000 uh, Qantas Australian Grand Prix Melbourne hat. Vintage 2000 hat in great condition. He's paid the $30 for it and uh, I only bought it on Thursday for two bucks. So not being uh, through eBay, this one was done on Instagram. I'll make myself about 
a $20 profit on that one. 75 bucks on the Supreme hat. So two pairs of hat over the weekend, a $95 profit. Pretty damn ridiculous. So we've had six pairs of shoes in total sell as well. These Noosa Double F2s, um, they actually was bought on Thursday in a trip to the thrift for 14 bucks, and I moved them really fast. They've sold for $60, and um, I was really happy with that price, actually, because I was thinking about a best offer of 50 would be my best case scenario. So to have them move in the space of just 24 hours for $60, an awesome shoe there, guys. This one sold for definitely under value. Um, this was during my 50 or 10% off sale that I ran on Saturday. Um, these New Balance 574s, they sold for a $38 US women's size 7. Um, I reckon I could have, I reckon I definitely could have got 50 bucks for these, but um, I took a best offer at 38. So really went unders on what I would normally get for my shoes. I might only profit about $15 there, um, but I've definitely made up for it with these because the 14 into 60 is probably going to make me my $30 profit there. So um, a cool result on the ASICs and just another pair of shoes out the door with the newies. So I've actually got another two pairs of ASICs running shoes. It's about 75% of what I buy is, is the running shoe category, but the ASICs brand does really well for me. So I've got two pairs of ASICs here that I want to have a quick chat about. The first one of these ASICs Fujirados. Um, these have got a boa lace right there. So they tighten up there on the boa. Pretty cool feature. A um, pair of women's running shoes. Um, these are a size US 9, I think. Uh, the little screen grab here will let you know, but that's sold for $50, those ASICs shoes. And look at that. The, the condition is is bloody good. Um, so they're off to a really nice home for $50, $42.50 after post, um, take out fees, bought for five, turns into about, I don't know, 28, something like that. These ones as well, Asics Gel Cumulus 21s, bought these in a flea market about two weeks ago. Um, I think I paid about $5, something like that. These Gel uh, Nimbus 21s have ended up selling for $68.95. So um, really love finding the Kayanos, really love finding the Gel Nimbus. Um, $68.95 off a $5 purchase. I'm making about a $40 profit there with those. So a huge grab there, a huge grab on the Fujirados as well. Another two pairs of Asics. That's why I love selling this brand. Two more pairs of shoes to round out the six that sold over the weekend. The first one that I've got for you are the Columbia hiking boots, the US size 11s. Um, these are a pair of North Bend Columbia hiking boots. I don't mind selling my hiking shoes. They were in great condition and uh, I got a $50 sale price. I bought them for $10 in the fleet, sold them on eBay for 50 bucks and I made myself my $30 profit that I like to get on my shoes. The other ones were a very clean pair of New Balance 574s, just like the US size 7s I just showed you outside. These are the men's US size 13, slightly different colorway, but I got the normal price that I like to get for my shoes, $55. So bought these for 10, sold for 55, again, around about that $30 profit that I like to get for my shoes. That was really quickly 26 items that sold just over the weekend alone for $930, almost, almost netting me $500 in weekend sales. So there you have it guys. I'm shooting off to go and do some thrifting, but I'm not gonna show you what I find in the thrift because I do a trip to the thrift video every single Thursday. And that's gonna be the next video that pops up on this channel guys, Thursdays and trips to the thrift. I cannot wait for it. Hopefully I can find some really cool items today, but uh, Thursday is always my favorite day of the week. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode guys. Like I said, I'm absolutely stoked to be in the new house and um, obviously uh, you know, showing you my eBay sales as well. I'm happy with what's sort of trickling through in my eBay store currently. So all things going well. Thank you very much for being here. My 30% clubbers that stick through to the very end. Uh, absolutely love you guys. Appreciate all of your support. And uh, I'll leave you with another video right here. Go and check this video out. This was an absolute banger of a trip to the thrift and hopefully I can replicate it uh, on Thursday. So thanks very much for tuning in guys. We'll catch you in the next video.